to a woman? Yeah. Never. No, never. When's the last time you think you've opened up to a woman? We don't. In your whole life? Bro, I'm telling you. Man, gonna... got players like, like I, I could, me and him related. Yeah. It's our first time meeting, yeah, but I, I can did. Tell you yeah, guys, I, there's no, some connection here. Oh, no. And they're going to tell you you can't. Because you know why? But it's a trap. Because you know why? I'm trapped no, no. like a motherfucker. No, I'm, I'm going to tell you why. Because <laughs> once you do, whenever something go down, they're going to throw it back in your face. Well, that's, I've had that's that. That's why. That's real. That's why. So you can't ever. That's why you cry because your dad yeah, yeah, left. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You open up to a woman? Yeah. Never. No, never. When's the last time you think you've opened up to a woman? We don't. In your whole life. So that's a little clip. That's a little long. That's, I mean, there's a longer um, clip, but you, uh, if I find out, we'll maybe play a long clip about it. But that's a little, little small clip. It's about, you know, um, you know, how, you know, if you start getting to a woman, they always throw it back in your face and everything. You know, it might come out from experience and everything. And, um, but yeah, so this is, so, so the topic one for today is, you know, should as men should, you know, why we shouldn't have been to a woman or we should and everything, if, if we agree or disagree with sex shame. So let's go, let's go, let's get him pass to you guys. Um, uh, Ronnie, we'll start with you, man. Do you believe that, uh, men should, if they have any problems, they should, you know, get to a woman? Um, like always, you guys can also time in the conversation. The lane is already pinned on top of the chat, so you guys can come in and join the conversation if you like. Uh, like always, there's no pressure. But um, um, from my understanding, um, of course, uh, learning from a lot of OGs, OGs always tell me a man should never express his emotion to a female because pretty much what like Shaquille O'Neal was saying, oh, they'll throw it right back in your face. Now, I, I'm one time I was having a conversation with uh, with a couple of men on the panel, and I was telling, I was telling them the reason why men don't like to express their emotions to women because they seem like when they express their emotions to women, it, it makes them pretty much makes them the less vessel, and I don't think it's really, really uh, it's, re it's very unfortunate. Now, don't get me wrong, not all women bring it up to your face, but sometimes women will use that, and um. Ron is sideways. What you mean? What do you mean the Thomas events and Ron is sideways? Oh, your screen is sideways. It's on the opposite side. It's, it's oh. facing on, on a vertical. Instead of oh, vertical. Uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> I probably got a long guy with love back then. But uh, yeah, so uh, that was say it it, 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 seem, it seems it, it's, it's very unfortunate, but I think man should be. I think men should be able to express his emotion to to his woman, not to all women, but to. I don't say my screen's always sideways. <laughs> sideways, whatever. Um, so it's um, that was a very that was a very unfortunate. It's very unfortunate that the, the type of society we live in today, where man is not able to express his emotion to his um to his woman because of him feeling. That she might ridicule him for his for um, him for him especially himself. So, um, I think we have to change that. I think we have to change that dynamic because right now, as you can see, like the total pro when you see the stats, you see how the stats shows that a lot of men are now dealing with women. A lot of men are now putting their hands on women. A lot of men now are doing things to women that no that normally they won't do. So, I think it's it, it's very unfortunate. So Shaquille O'Neal is making a great point. And the only way we can change that is starts with us, man. Go ahead, I think. I was told a long time ago, don't cry to your girl, cry to your mama. I learned that in 1996. With that information, I went against that information and got smacked in my head. Ah, smacked in my face. Ah, smacked in my face. Ah. In my experience, I can't speak for anybody else. In my anecdotal experience, every time I've opened up to a woman and been vulnerable, it's been devastating. I'm not speaking for everybody else. I have yet to meet a woman that you can truly be broken down like a machine and your water pump <clears throat> went out. I've yet to I've yet to been with somebody like that. And I know a lot of women might get mad and say, oh, I'm not like that. You're not like that. But the majority 
and the consensus are doing different. This is why when shit get real rough, his best friend, his brother, and his mama know what's going on. They're the mo- they're the ones who don't have a dog in the fight, but they're in- invested into him progressing because they're going to love him regardless, bad or worse. You're going to expect your man to be 10 times better no matter what situation he is. He says, some gentlemen, Natasha say, um, some gentlemen don't have a mother to turn to. Unfortunately, it could be a catch-22 for a man. You are right, Natasha. But I'm going to say, especially when you grow up rough or you grow up hard, you know what I mean? And you know there's a there's a there's a um idea in America that women have about black men. And you know what I mean, a stereotype that we're supposed to always be on the go, always be strong, always be tough, and always do this. But we do break down and the vulnerable moments are seen by co-workers. I'm and I'm gonna end this like this co workers, best friends, and mama. Go ahead. Um, going back with Shaq was saying, um, I get, I agree with what Ronnie was saying. It's to me, it's a certain type of woman you can break down to. I know a lot of these um, YouTube spaces where women want, you know, they want type of emotional intelligence. Um, you know, have they? They want men to be open. You know about their emotions and everything. You know that, that that probably be true, but the thing is, it's like some some women do want this, but once they receive it, you know they it doesn't it doesn't like when they when they get it, it's like like why are you telling me this? You know you supposed to be a man, you know you don't even tell me all this type of stuff. It's like they tell you one thing, but in the actions they do the other, they do the opposite and everything. You know, there's been times in my past, you know, before I met my wife and everything that you know when I was in a relationship, you know. They wanted me to open up, and that would while open up, cool. But months later, you know, if something don't go down, I always bring it back to your face and everything. And you know that some and that hurt me. You know, it, it really, really did. And I thought, you know, at the time, it's like, you know, okay, after that situation, it's like, okay, I'm just gonna be mad. I'm not, not gonna open that. Jump, you know, if I'm gonna tell someone, tell my, you know, my mom, you know, grandmother, you know, you know, you know, somebody that's close to me. You know, jumping into my my in relationship with my wife and everything, you know, you know, she she wanted that too, you know, the first, you know, the first five, six years in at that at that position. But at, at the time I, I was not gonna do that because, you know, because of the stuff that happened to me in the past. But, you know, there are several like several type of women who like I said, you can be open to and they, they and, and they won't bring that out to you. There are some women out there. It may not be a lot of them, but they are women out there that you you could possibly defend to. They can hear, you know, they hear you, and you know they listen to you, and they won't bring it back to you. You know, there are some women that are like that. You know, you know, my like I said, my experience is different from um, Ronnie's and you know, and I came. So you know, you know, our you know our experience, all our experiences, you know, you know, it's different. But you know, we, you just you just hearing us out about some things. So yeah, personally for me, I, I believe there are some women who can, you know, you, you could definitely vent to. Of course, you know your mother um, or you close to your grandmother's family, absolutely. But it takes a special type of woman that you know that you can vent to, and they will not use that, you know. And usually, you have that type of woman like that, you know, you should you should marry her immediately, you know. That's that's wifey right there, you know, because she's she's not gonna really put that out there, you know, and unless. You know, you had a corporate like uh, properly and everything, and sometimes the marriage might go bad, and she probably might bring it up. And every she, she there's a possibility she might bring bring it up, which which can happen in anything. It can happen in everything, and uh, and that and that sort of situations, you know, you you know, I know a man will will be hurt and everything, but you know, you know that right there, they could that's like a. A shot in a man's heart when you know you bring it up to him like that because a man you know he's trying to do the best he can to be in a relationship being a marriage you know protect provide all these type of things and we beat a man down like that you know it it kind of hurts you know it, it it really hurts him it really hurts him you know it, it's it's it, it's it's it could be devastating to a man as what uh hakeem was was speaking about and everything so yeah it just takes a serpent type of woman you can vent to who who, who will listen to you 
and and then as she listens to you, she you know she'll try to you know make it better somehow, some way. You know, she's not going to throw it back because you know when when man when we speak, you know, you know, you know, if, when we when we speak out about our emotions and everything, uh, what's going down and everything, you know, you know, we we, we really <clears throat> it's really vulnerable to us when we do that. I don't know a lot of women know that it's like it's really really vulnerable when we go out and speak about our emotions and everything. That's why we talk to you know, you know our, 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 our friends, you know, maybe our father, or talk to our barber a lot, you know, what we're going to and everything. That's why you know it's kind of like a tightness group when we talk to other men. You know, we tell women that you know, you know, we 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 want to, but we just speak, like I said with some, certain experiences with other people. They just see how it goes and everything. You know, with certain women, how you know you tell them, and then they'll throw it back in your face and everything. It's, it could be very, very devastating. So, uh, for a certain men, if you want to, <clears throat> if you want to vent to woman, just make sure you find a white type of woman to do that. You know, just just make sure you know, you know, you're ready for it, and she's ready for it. You know, or you can be a type of uh, man. You know, maybe you don't want to get married. Or you know you just have a you just build like that as a man like you're not gonna tell nobody but like it, and if that works for you, it works for you. But personally for me, you can vent for a certain type of woman, and that certain type of woman you want to vent to, you know, if, if you can vent to her, you know, she's like to be a wacky type uh, type of type of woman. That's my little tick right there. Shout out to Jordan Hurdle. He said it's the fear of rejection or the 